I have several e-bikes and I want to like travel and carry my bikes without putting them inside the van. And I had found one of these KACs and it had a lot of great ratings. So I figured I'd give one a try. I just got it in. So I'm going to unbox it for y'all and show you everything that you get with the box when you get it in and I will install it. So stick around and you'll see how it installs with the bikes on there. Get my good old next tool out that has my scissors on it because it has these bands on it. So opening all the bands up and it looks like once you it's it's banded and it's stapled so you're gonna have to break the staples loose and there you go oh boy you can see right here how they packaged it i like it when a company goes out of their way to put a lot of packaging on it they have the styrofoam there let's just go ahead and cut that take the styrofoam out there looking at it online it doesn't look like there's a crazy amount of assembly to it because pretty much this is the whole thing right here and it's going to go in like that let's put the actual mount aside right there and you're going to get this box a box in a box that's all we got so let's go ahead put all of this garbage aside so in this box it looks like you're going to get the instructions and this is like a quick this there's how it kind of looks just to kind of give you all an idea of what you're getting it's going to look like this this was one of the most affordable and best ones i could find for what i need these things can range you know all over to super expensive to pretty cheap and i think i got one of the good mid mid range ones. it's the core one and a quarter inch platform hitch and it does have a bracket where you could go with a two inch total weights 120 20 pounds so 60 pounds per each and if you got an e-bike if you remove the battery you're usually taking 20 pounds away so that fits about every bike that you can imagine and it's the two bike capacity maximum tire width up to five inches so you can have up to a five inch tire and most uh fat tire e-bikes are uh four inches wide this thing has a lock on it um it has a tilt down feature and it folds up when not in use. So let's go ahead and let's start putting this thing together. I'm not gonna like uh, run the video the entire time, but I will kind of come back and show y'all exactly how this thing gets put together because you know what? I have built a lot of things and I think I can figure it out. So let's go ahead, put these aside. That's a warranty information. And you could see you're gonna get, looks like tons of little bits of hardware. So I'm just gonna go ahead, lay all this out, and then I'll come back and show y'all what I got. Okay, everybody, I have it all laid out here. This is what I like to do when I get these items in. I'll get them and I'll lay them all out and then verify that I have all the parts. There's the left, there's the right, and it's labeled on the outside of the package, by the way, not on the items itself. I wish they would have labeled on the items itself because I took all the package off. But So it looks like everything that comes with it is with it. There's the hardware, so we are in business. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow these instructions and put it on the way they suggested here and it looks after looking at it here it actually looks pretty simple you know you have one two three four so you see how they have steps here and there you are by the time you get to six steps you're completely with the bike on there so let me go ahead and put it all together and then i'll come back and show y'all exactly the finished product on this so let's do that all now. right there it is everybody that took me maybe 25 minutes not even 30 minutes and you can see how it's all set up here let me show you exactly so you're gonna have some spare parts they're gonna give you an extra little like light and it's really cool that they do this because if you lose one of these you'd have to order it but this goes to the the actual turn on the right and that's an extra bolt down at the bottom if that comes out for whatever reason. Let me just kind of like go over with how easy this thing was to install. So number one, you've seen, I put it right in here like this. I slid in the hitch and then that screws in right down there. And I used all the supplied tools that they gave me. You know, the wrenches that they gave me. The only thing I had to use was my little like screwdriver that came on my next tool here and to cut it off. We'll mount some bikes on here in a minute, but let me show you what I did real quick. You slide these bars in right there is a screw so make sure that screw hole is facing down slide those in you put these two bolts in right here and there's a washer with a lock nut very good that they're using lock nuts on this and then this is alternated left and right same way repeated on this side two bolts go in right there and i used their supplied wrench for all of this so i didn't have to use my own tools and once again a left and a right over here and then you put your little stopper I think screw right there that keeps these things so if you look the reason you'd want that see how these can't come off so that works really well right there and then up here 
I did remember the the long so there's a longer one and a shorter one so I did the longer one on the inside and the shorter one on the outside just like they said and then check this out everybody this right here will go down on your bike and look at that this same key works for all of that so that locks that so you see now the bike is locked on there so you know somebody can't just come by and unscrew this um, preferably i'm going to run a bike lock around it along with that and then check this out so you're like what if i want to lift it and lower it pull this lever here that does the tilt down so now that tilts it down to put a bike on or to be able to access the inside here so i'll be able to lift my gate up at the back so now i want to fold it forward look at this see this little button right here mash that button check this out this drops down like that you can see the wording there now the buttons up there so now lift this up look at that everybody and then you you know obviously i'll tighten all these down once i get the bikes on there how awesome is that and it has the logo on it kac down at the bottom you know you can see how it's tucked away and you don't even have to worry about it so now it just rides like that right there so you don't have to take it on and off but yeah, there it is, everybody. Let me go ahead and grab a couple of e-bikes and let's load this thing down and see what it looks like. And then we'll go to town and test it out. So let's do that. Okay, I just loaded the first e-bike. You can see what I did. I tilted it down, loosened up the straps, found the location that I wanted to. And this first e-bike is more of a cruiser with the uh, two inch tires on it instead of the four inch. The second one's gonna be a fat tire with four inch uh, tires and it's gonna go on the outside. So you can see how the Bandit Pacer kind of locks in there like that goes down and then i slid this down across the top tube and you could see how that goes and then you tighten it up then you're going to lock it right there and you see i left these loose so i can find where to put the tires for the for the uh forerunner so let me go ahead and put the forerunner on now all right there it is everybody they're both loaded on there i have both bandits ready to go so this is the bandit pacer loaded on the back and it's got the smaller tires and you see how well those just drop down in there and then on the front is the bandit forerunner with the four inch tires and you see how those things fit down in there just perfect look at that i might do some little more adjustment and kind of like move the whole uh, rack around a little bit i think i need to be more in this way i think i'm going to leave it like it is until i come back and load everything you're going to run these straps around each tire and then there's a secondary strap that runs right here that runs around this way right here and i just tied it off has a little brake thing right there you can see how everything holds in place and check it out this is all locked on there for the money i don't think you can go wrong this is one of the best systems i've seen for the price because these things have ranged all over the map i mean very expensive to super affordable and that's what this one is i can take the battery off and make it a little lighter there's a switch right a key right here to take my battery off but i didn't do it for the purpose of this video but I, if i was going to go long trips i'd probably take the battery off and put it inside the van so yeah there it is everybody that's all i got today on the you know rod kac dual bandits i will leave links where if you guys want to pick up a couple of these bandits i highly recommend them this is my cruiser this is my fat tire forerunner so yeah see you guys in the next video Woo!